All rise. Yep, I got a little one. <laughs> you mean a chubby? <laughs> it's a semi chub. <laughs> please, please be seated. Thank you. Welcome to Sunday Morning Mass. I'm Luke Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. Nice to be with you on this beautiful Sunday in California, anyway. It's going to be a hot one today. Uh, it is. Uh, well over 100 is what I hear. Yeah. Of course, they're dealing with a tornado, or no, hurricane, I'm sorry, uh, down in the coastal area. Oh. And our thoughts are going out to those people. Yeah. Uh, on Sunday Morning Mass, it's kind of a free for all that we do here on the show. Um, uh, kind of a cornucopia, a plethora of things kind of, whoa, mixed together. That would have been disastrous with my coffee. And so uh, we have to address the white elephant in the room right now, Ronnie, right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, as many of you have seen, based on the numbers I'm seeing on my screen, uh, more people have seen it than didn't. The parody... Pretty well received. Uh, I would think so. We'll get to a few of those comments. Coming up in just a moment. Thank you for them, by the way. Yeah. If you haven't already done so, we would love to have you as a subscriber to our show. But you know what? Only if you're cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. If if you're a troll or I don't know, you or if you get offended by a semi chub statement. Yeah. Or yeah. a parody. Or a parody. We don't really. We don't need you. Yeah. You know, but we we don't block you. No. That you know what? That's another thing that we need to address this morning here before we get to it, Ronnie. Uh, we had a couple of comments that uh, were not as nice as some of the others that we received. And I wanted to let you know that I don't, we don't ban you on this show for minute comments of, mm, I don't know, what am I trying to say? Well, every, every negative comment right. made it to the video. Exactly. We, we allowed it to be read. Mm -hmm. And by every, I mean, there were three initially, and then one person that I responded to suddenly deleted his comment no kidding yeah what well, what is what why would people do that ronnie uh well and it was kind of funny because when i looked at his you know you can go back and you can look at their channel and it had zero on it as if it were a brand new account set up only for responding to this particular video so, I'm not saying that's the case, but that's what it appeared to be. And there's no way of knowing. And there's no way of knowing. And regardless, either way, I called, kind of called him out on it. Uh, and all of a sudden, within an hour, gone. it was gone. Ronnie, I have to say, um, I'm really thrilled to see you back in men's clothing. <laughs> Well, you know how it sucks on laundry day. <laughs> yeah, right. You're you stuck to wear whatever's... Throw any old dress on. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? Thanks again to my wife for putting all that together. She, she really went to some great lengths that. to pull all that off. I, you know, and I had this vision of how I wanted to see Ronnie dressed, and she just pulled it off perfectly with that wig it and was the jewelry. And, it, perfect. Oh, my it was gosh. perfect. Yeah. Uh, okay, so before we get to some of the comments regarding the, the parody video, uh, I, I wanted to mention to you that um, someone sent me a message and said, are, are you going to send this to Forrest Fenn? And uh, let me take you through the steps here really quick here. Uh, I'm going to go back to July the 4th. That was the last communication that Forrest and I had via email. And all I said simply was, because he's a busy man, uh, Happy Independence Day, Mr. Fenn. Thank you for your dedication and service to our great country. And he replied back almost immediately, Thank you, sir. I like your program, and I hope you will continue sending me links. Lowercase f. That's how he signs it. My wife says, How do you know that's really him? I go, because that's how he signs. That's his signature. So um, Nobody could duplicate that. A lowercase f? <laughs> Come on. 
it's who, weak. Who even has an F on their keyboard anymore? Right. No. Or yeah. one they use. Right. Well, I use mine a lot, to tell you the truth. <laughs> F is, it seems to come up as one of the letters most frequently used, especially when replying to stupid email. Uh, okay, so now here's the deal. Um, so I, I've been hearing all these messages and stuff coming back from Fenbury. And how he was there, who he hung out with, who he took pictures with. I sent him a link with the email attachment of our show. And so I wrote to him, uh, Mr. Fenn, I hope all is well in your life. I have heard, oh, so I sent him this video and no reply. But see, I knew that Fenbury was going on. Right. So I knew he was busy. Got a lot on his plate that weekend. Exactly, and so yeah. I, I didn't want to bother him with following up. So I waited, you know, until like Tuesday, I think it was, and wrote, I hope all is well in your life. I've heard from many people who attended Fenbury and said it was the best one ever. And, and that's the truth. Um, from the pictures I saw, Mr. Fen, you looked great and appear in great health. As you requested, I sent you a link from our last show with the parody on it. I haven't heard back from you, and honestly, sir, I'm a little concerned. Oops. Ugh. I hope you weren't offended. Should I assume you didn't like it? <laughs> Would you mind letting me know either way? I will await your response patiently. Thank you, sir. Lou Gallagher. And I sent that on Tuesday morning before I went to work, so that must have been around 6.30 in the morning or so. Um, Santa Fe is on Pacific time, isn't it? They're, whatever, the next, is it mountain time? Is the next one over? Oh, yeah, I maybe think. it is mountain time. I think so it's one hour, hour difference. So, I mean, no sooner did I send him this email, he writes back, uh, Lou, I loved your parody on AGK. Oh, thank you. You guys should take your show on the road. Now, when I read that, I thought to myself, hmm. is he asking us to go play in traffic? <laughs> <laughs> Because that would be not good. Well, there is one road that leads right to Santa Fe also. <laughs> I've heard so, that. So, yeah. Yeah. Just got to make a left at Albuquerque. He goes on to say, please keep sending me links. There you have it. Fenbury was a lot of fun. It rained like crazy, but it didn't dampen anything signed for us. So, for all of you wondering about this parody, and ultimately, people would ask how... Does Mr. Fan himself feel about what it was that we did? I think it's this. <laughs> Very good, Ron. All right, uh, next up on the agenda, I wanted to talk about our PayPal account, Ronnie. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have had, and I've got that up, uh, we've had several people who have donated to our cause. If you're new or you didn't see any of the previous episodes, we have... As a show, we have two goals right now that we're trying to accomplish, and they are at the forefront, and we are dealing with them virtually every day. The first one is that we want to be able to take our show live, and as far as we know, Ronnie, we want to do Sunday morning mass. I think we've got everything we need right now. Okay, so... Uh, and, and Just in need fact, to put it together and do a couple trial runs. Exactly. So uh, we made a few purchases with the money as we promised we were going to do, and uh, we will be bringing you a live episode very soon. Will you be an address for that, or is it formal? Or uh, I think I probably a tux. A tux, you say? Yeah, should okay. be in a well, tux. Okay. Well, you're going to be handsome no matter what. <laughs> and you were a handsome woman. Don't get me wrong. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. I, I wouldn't say agree. that if I didn't mean it. I read the comments. They what? were. They were very positive. What are you doing next Friday night? <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I'm going to need that wig again, though. Okay, no problem. Yeah. No problem. Uh, so the, the point is we set up a, a PayPal account, which you see on your screen right now, and you'll <clears throat> excuse me find the link below in our description today. Uh, we are trying to get to Santa Fe, New Mexico, to spend some time with Mr. Fent. And uh, he has said that we are welcome at his home anytime. He does not wish to do a YouTube interview, right. and it's not our show, just our show he won't do. He has explained to me that uh, it wouldn't be fair to others. And, and you know, as tough as that was to hear no, uh, I accepted it, Ronnie accepted it. I get it. Uh, sure, we do, but 
here's what we could do, or Mike could do. Uh, we get down to Santa Fe. We spend a couple of hours out on his property, walking around and talking with him, maybe playing some horseshoes. You know, maybe we uh, have some barbecue brought in, and we all sit down Drink and talk. Drink a little great bet. Great bet, to be sure. And and then we will bring you that conversation through our memory uh, as it took place. Right. And share some of that with you. Because, Ronnie, we've made it clear, we're not treasure hunters. Okay, no. please. If for some reason you think that we are, you need to get over that. Uh, we bring you an entertainment-based show, right? And um, essentially, we report on the things that we hear and read and see on the treasure. We get a lot of emails from people. Plus, we do a lot of our own independent research. Oh heck yeah! We've both read the book twice, right? Um, we we get a dozen solves sent to us every week, at least. Uh, so. I mean, we're we're like a, a collection point for Forrest Fenn's treasure, yeah. and uh, so I mean, we we have a bit of information. It's I don't think we can, you know, some of the shows are way more well versed on it than we are, basically because they've been boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a big difference between talking about it and getting out there and doing it. So those people. We can't we can't stack up against that, and nor would, are we going to even try to. No, no, no. It's we doing we're doing a completely different type of show than that. Absolutely, and so we're trying to raise. I would say probably at this point fifteen hundred dollars. I think that'll take care of uh, round trip air. We'll probably spend a night there, uh, hotel, uh, some food with two beds, miss a, two rooms, <laughs> please. Hmm. No offense, Ronnie. Harumph. Harumph, harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. <laughs> so if you can help us, we really would appreciate it. Um, it, it it's going to be uh, something that we will never forget, and we hope to bring that experience to you. So we're looking to raise 1500 bucks, And if you feel like you're in a position where you can do that, we'd really appreciate it, Ronnie. Maybe you don't have kids or grandkids. Uh, you're retired or you make a pretty good buck at your job and uh, we would appreciate if you would make a donation to our cause okay let's see Ronnie on Tuesday night we're going to be on the flip side Ooh, that's right yep yeah Sean has invited us to come on and uh, we're really looking forward to yeah. it a little bit nervous if you want me to be honest yeah um, and we hope that you'll watch it will be on 6 p.m. on the West Coast and 7 p.m. Mountain Time. I right. believe that's what he told yep. us. Uh, we will be going live with Sean and answering a lot of his questions. And I think you might even find out some behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, you know, Ronnie, I didn't... Uh, we, don't, we don't really have any idea which direction this is going to go. Right. So we're going to be ready for anything. Yeah. Um... I'm going to study some geography facts, and I'm going to, hopefully he doesn't have a spelling bee, because spelling is not my strong suit. Well, I know we're not doing math. That's in our contract. And no math. Yeah, no there's math. no math. No, so we don't need that. Be, pay, pay close, close attention to that. Here's a behind-the-scenes thing we can share with you. In last Sunday's Mass, with the parody, we did two takes. <laughs> That's right. Okay. The first take... It was pretty good, a little rough, and there was no kiss. Right. We aired the second take, and we did it in two, and it's <laughs> destined to become classic, I think, for sure. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go back and watch last Sunday's uh, Mass. Uh, destined to be a classic. So, um, yeah, there was a kiss in the second one, and that, uh, honestly, I thought that made the whole bit, Ronnie. And we couldn't have done the first one. You know what? It was, well, f during the first one, I also said a hippie's lisp. Oh, yeah, that's right. Instead of a hippie's lips. Yeah. And so there was a, that little bit of a faux pas. So, and, and I really think that doing it the first time, we didn't really have to look at the script. Right. And we just kind of knew. It It worked out really well. It, it, it was. It. 
I went back and looked at it. And my my son watched it. And my wife watched it, and they both giggled, pretty uh, right straight out loud. They Did were, your wife get jealous of the kiss? Uh, she was not that jealous. Oh, okay. no, right. I, well, she's got nothing to worry about. Yeah, her goatee is nowhere near as good as yours. I meant to tell her that. I'll tell her that today. <laughs> she's gonna have to work on it. Yeah, and I had to shave mine. I don't know if you noticed, but oh no, I didn't. I had to go to work yesterday, and so I I had to shave my goatee a little bit. Huh. So. Well, I got a haircut. And I'm already up and walking around. Yeah, it yeah. looks good. Ah, thank you. Yeah, you know, maybe somebody could donate a couple bucks for some hairspray and a, yeah. Oh, well, aren't you couture? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm up close. I'm seeing it. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so we will be on the flip side Tuesday night. That will be July the 16th. Sounds right. Uh, the next day. We know somebody who's having a 60th birthday. That's right. Yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, the happy birthday. Thank you very advance. much. Thank you very much. I've got you the same thing for your birthday this year as I got you last year. So I don't have to take it back. Right. Right. <laughs> 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 kind of figured. In yeah. fact, it might even be a white elephant gift. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, if you would like to find out more about us or see some of our videos, uh, we are also on the Treasure Tracer Forum. And I believe that's treasuretracer.com slash community. Uh, that's the link for that. Yeah, it's under the entertainment uh, right. link. Right, we have our own little section there. Yep. And there are four or five of our videos that are fen related there, and you can check them out. Uh, we have been asked to participate in a documentary that's going to be made in the next, oh, six to eight months, I believe. Um, and it's an, it's a documentary on the life of Forrest Fenn and this treasure hunt. And I'm very interested and flattered that they asked us to be a part of that. Yeah. If you'd like to get some more information on their Kickstarter program, uh, be glad to send our audience there to check it out. And they this guy some, is talented. Oh my God, he's not he nominated immensely, for two Emmys. Immensely talented. Yeah. Um, I think I said last week, if I could edit like this, our show would be a hundred times bigger oh, than it is. Oh, boy. Uh, so his name is Jeff Height. And uh, if you go on Instagram, you can go to Hunting Fen. That's one word, Hunting Fen with two N's. And you'll find out more information there. Uh, they were filming at Fenbury last week. Oh, how cool. Yeah, so uh, they're very dedicated to this project. And we are very glad to be able to um, expose it to our audience so that you might be able to help this project get your get its feet off the ground. Yeah. That's what they're looking to do. All right, Ronnie, let's get to some comments. We've got a few minutes left here. Okay. Uh, this one actually was just came in this morning, early this morning. Okay. From Czar, uh, what is it? Three, uh, 334? Yeah. Uh, he says, you guys seem pretty smart. What does sarcastic mean? <laughs> So we don't know. Wow! How how do you? Why would you ask us? Yeah, how do you respond to that? So uh, Lou says. So you uh, you know like sarcasm? Uh, we serve it up on a plate every show. I can't exactly tell from your vague comment. Uh, please expound. Ooh! Oh my God! There's another word. That'll be the next comment. What does expound mean? <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> don't mess with us. Yeah, and then Zara says, "I believe it's algae or maybe seaweed." Oh, we lost him. Mm, gone. Where did he go? <laughs> uh, yeah, and then Lou says, "I can't tell. Are you trying to bust my chops?" Yeah. Well, I can't tell if you're uh, see, trying to troll me or the what? thing with sarcasm is when you hit people with sarcasm, they're supposed to know it. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, Unlike Sheldon. <laughs> <laughs> right. Big Bang Theory. Yeah, Sheldon, sarcasm is lost on Sheldon. And I, I, my last reply to Zara was, if you make us define every big word we use, <laughs> we're going to have to start using simpler words yeah, in our broadcast. I think we will. Yeah. The uh, old one and two syllable words. Right. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, uh, the, uh, okay, Larry. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, he says on our parody, the one-sided sexual tension in the room was barely noticeable. Uh, well, I'm glad that's the case, because it was it was definitely noticeable here. It was one sided. Yeah, right. Um, Ronnie says, "I'm glad you picked. I'm glad you picked up on that little nuance." <laughs> yeah. Was it really a little nuance? It was a, it was a tiny nuance. Uh, man in the barn says, "Okay, this is officially my favorite show." 
Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Um, let's see. Davio22, another one of our friends, says, Shelly never talks that much. She just stares at Toby and wonders when he's going to stop talking. <laughs> A lot of us do that. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that my ideas are not mainstream and on the fringe is a good thing. Being teased for my originality and creativity, reminding me of high school, maybe even junior high. It's about questioning everything. It is a game. Well, I agree, but you know, there's such a thing as overdoing it too. Right. All right. Yep. Know your limitations. Uh, this comment is from Tony Driver, and this was on our Hidden Treasure in the USA. Uh, oh yeah, recent. The recent one on Friday. Uh, he says, I'm glad you decided to do show other on other treasures because the fan treasure is about gone. Who? Uh, about gone where? I think he means maybe the interest is waning oh. a little bit. Gosh, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at numbers and... I don't know. I think I might disagree a little bit on that, uh, Tony. And then uh, you said he's almost as old as Ronnie. Yeah, almost. Uh, and then I said, do you think it'll be found in our lifetime? And That's Tony, a good question. Because, I mean, who knows? Uh, you know, it's hard to say. Tony then says, it'll be found before you can say supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, to which I replied, Mary Poppins has spoken. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Tony. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Under the Radar says, I'm glad I stuck around for the Gypsy parody. Nailed it perfectly. Uh, Boots on the Ground says, I only watch for Terry. <laughs> I get that a lot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's our, our viewers they are so creative listen to this one um, where did it go here it is I've always referred to you two as the boys oh yeah uh, now I'm confused <laughs> is this a Californian thing LMAO oh that reminds me of another word I saw LMAO somehow I don't think this is the first time Ronnie has put on a dress <laughs> It looked pretty natural, didn't it? It did. You pulled that it That one really accentuated my guns, by the way. Yes. That was that was the That's high That's what my for wife me. was going for. Yeah. Uh, L. Ryder says, I almost spit my coffee. Oh, my God, you guys are great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, we did put a lot of work into that. Uh, somewhere out there says, you guys win the Toby for your performance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I told him, hey. It's an honor just to be nominated. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. 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 We, we were in with a lot of a very talented, very talented groups. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, give me title of the gold. Another one of our favorites. OMG, I'm dying. I started <laughs> laughing so hysterically loud when I first saw Ronnie in that wig. The wine, the sexual tension, and content was comedic gold. I'm so glad I wasn't drinking my coffee when the hippies lisp or uh, kiss started. Or it would have been everywhere. Loved it. Um, uh, you know what? This is one on uh, Hidden Treasure in the USA again from uh, Marshall George. He says, Perumph. I didn't get a perumph out of that guy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I tell him, uh, perumphs are for winners. Right. Oh, like sprinkles. Scratch that. I meant sprinkles. Okay. All right. There. Good. Yeah. Now we got it straight. Yeah. Um, how about you? This is from Carrie Toes. I'm pretty sure Carrie is a nice lady. Nice lady! She has made comments on several videos now. You guys rock. Oh. Love the spoof. Too funny. Um, give me title. Says, I know I commented earlier, but I can't stop laughing about this. This is freaking epic. <laughs> I've showed this to a couple of people. LOL. Grow the channel. Sips wine. <laughs> <laughs> that was all Lou. That was, uh, that really was. That was probably, I mean, you know what, when you make a parody of something, and oh, and uh, one of the, one of the posters, one of our negative comments said that we were cyberbullying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ronnie, yeah. please elaborate. I thought your, what you replied was very good. So, you know, basically I asked him for, tell me, well, first of all, if you look up the definition of cyberbullying, uh -huh. This does not fit that. Right. In, by any stretch of the imagination. It's nothing. There was no cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is completely different. And so I asked him for just a specific example, mm -hmm. if he could give us one. Right. No. Crickets. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. It's not cyberbullying, trust me. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was never done with that intention. No. Uh, okay, so a few more comments here, Ronnie. Uh, this one... 
from give me oh no we did that one um WTF that is hilarious comes from Bud One Wiser <laughs> and this is the one I was alluding to earlier <clears throat> excuse me he's got R-O-T-F <clears throat> L-M-M F-G-D-A-O oh <clears throat> and I figured out what that means Ryan I know what that means okay yes uh, he you... threw in a couple of a uh, couple of words there that we can't well, we shouldn't mention it. <laughs> we can do whatever we You know want. what? I do have to do this shout out, though. David Lordy? Yeah. He His comment says, I'm in ICU at the moment. Would you go search? Uh, would love to go search with you guys. I got income imagination more powerful than the average person. You know what? Kind of glancing over the real story here, we asked him, you know, hey, hope you're feeling better and how are you doing? We checked in with him a couple times. Uh, at one point, he was just going to undo his IV and check himself out. And I told him, you know what? You might as well stay there. I asked, I told him, if you want to get checked out really quick, ask the youngest, cutest nurse for sponge baths every other hour. Yeah, that's probably... You'll you'll I'm, be out of there in no time at all. <laughs> <laughs> or you could do like I do. Just tell them you're leaving. <laughs> Work for me. So, hey, you know what? I, but in all reality, David, we hope you're doing much better. You're at home. And I sent him a message yesterday, uh, Ronnie, just to make sure he was doing okay. And um, it, it appears that he is. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, so, Davio22 comes back to say, it's been interesting watching the captain and Tennille. <laughs> Referring to the show we were parodying, not our, ours. In their pre uh, preconceived notions and not being able to get out of their own way. Uh, we kind of picked up on that, didn't oh. we? And this one, uh, Steve Klein said, I took a screenshot of Ronnie and sent it to my brothers <laughs> doing time in London, Ohio Correctional. They really enjoyed the Brokeback Mountain kiss, you guys. <laughs> and I said, I just hope my image doesn't become a tattoo on some dude's back. So there's a chance. There's there is that chance. Uh, Ken Blythe says that was a parody of Sonny and Cher, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, glad the facial hair almost matches the wig, Ron. It kind of did. It did, huh? It was so uncanny looking uh -huh. at it. Yeah. If that's not worth taking up a collection for Sunday morning mass, not sure what is. You won't forget the small guy when things go national, I hope, Lou. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then Guy Ward, and we did this intentionally. Guy Ward said, uh, nice tie, Lou. Didn't think Corvette Ronette could get any more gorgeous. I was wrong. So wrong. Yeah. Well, and then Part of that was, I had said that occasionally, I'll see him wearing a white shirt with a white tie. Right. Which is, I don't know, hey, I don't subscribe to GQ magazine. Nor do I. But I don't think that's right. No. Mm, maybe for a wedding. Maybe. If, yeah, you're, as the if you're like the best man or the groom, <laughs> yeah. maybe. Yeah. So, but again, I don't... When I told GQ. my wife about that white shirt, white tie, she went with the intent of trying to find one. But she said to me, you know, that's kind of tacky. <laughs> Your wife knows. <laughs> uh, anon, Anon. Hey, how you doing, dude? He says, A-H-L, a hippie's lips. I love it, guys. Nice Sunday morning comedy. Captured precisely, says Lori James. Um, let's see. Oh, Mama Llama. Oh. That's one of your buddies, huh? Yes. Yep. Uh, Mama Llama says, I think I peed myself. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have only one word for this, brazen. <laughs> yes, it's a clue in someone, in case someone missed it. It's, it almost sounds like Blaze, doesn't it? Blaze. Kind of, huh? Yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, Nikolai Olson, he said, uh, nice to see Shelly is getting out there. Uh, and you said, uh, Shelly, we're talking about Terry Scant. Right. Yeah, I don't know where the Shelly thing came from. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and then I kind of threw out the, the uh, you know, disclaimer, any character resemblance to another person, real or fictional, is merely a coincidence. All rights reserved. Your mileage may vary. There you go. That's proclamating right there. <laughs> Tell you what. How about this one from Snuggles? Did you guys break loose from a mental institution? <laughs> Copper Dan says, um, did you two seriously kiss? Yeah. I saw there there was lip touch. I can't unsee that. Ah! <laughs> my eyes, they burn. <laughs> Marshall George is right along those same lines. He says, my eyes, my eyes. 
I'm, oh, the humanity. Robert says, Linsky says, I'm only here for Terry Scant. So many <laughs> others are. You're not alone. Um, you know, Marvel Gaze plays a big part in this, too. True, yeah. yeah. But no, Terry Scant is the star of that show. Joe John says, seriously funny. You definitely need to also start the harder side. The softer side has too much estrogen. <laughs> Mass is like the red and green show. We just need to hear the man's prayer at the end of Sunday Mass. Keep up the laughs. Please add wall displays, guns, sports memorabilia, things that a man would want. Back here is what he's talking about, Ronnie. I might still have my Fair Fawcett poster. Oh, sweet. That I could put up back there. Uh, you know, I told him that uh, we would do that, but that would just add to our breakdown time. Yeah. And we, we don't want that. It's yeah. enough as it is folding up tables and lamps and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I love Lucy. Says, Bahaha, it's too funny. Um, uh, and then, uh, oh, and you said that uh, you watched I Love Lucy, you kind of watched it back this morning. Thought about the Lucy and Ethel in the candy factory. Oh scene. my God, that's class. That's yeah, epic right there. That is. Hey, Vinny Stacks. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, Vinny. Appreciate it. He says, hashtag keep Ronnie wearing dress 2020. <laughs> so hashtag that, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, hey, this is one I think we'll we'll wind up with here, Ronnie. Okay. This is from Frank. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is from Hot Rod Mav. Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. And Hot Rod says, I know people have busted your balls about super chats and PayPal and whatnot, but think about this for a second. When I go to church, I always leave a donation in the collection plate. So why would Mass be any different? And so we're going to tell you once again, if you enjoy our show, you enjoy, enjoy our Fen Treasure episodes, and so many of you do, and we appreciate that. We really want to bring you our time with Forrest Fen, and in order to do that, we're trying to raise enough money to fly to Santa Fe, New Mexico. We've already been told by Mr. Fen himself that we're always welcome in his home. And we will not be shooting any video or having him on our show. We don't claim that. No. Nope. Uh, but Ronnie and I just want to go, sit down with him, just kind of, you know, as friends would do, like maybe around a campfire, or, you know, out of doors, that sort of thing, telling stories. That's all we want. And we want that so bad. We need your help. We really do. I'm sorry uh, I, I, that it comes to this, but we have a PayPal account. And you can make a donation to that right now as we speak. We get them directly. In fact, I'd like to tell you that uh, I have a few people that we should thank. Oh, yep. Uh, you just mentioned David Lordy. David here's, Lordy. Here's a guy who is in the hospital in ICU, and he still managed to send us a little money. We told him not to do that. Appreciate it. That's, he did anyway. Yeah, it doesn't go unnoticed. Uh, Daniel Headblom. Thank you, Daniel. That was an excellent donation. $150. Man. We'd love to have somebody match that or a couple of people that would really get us to our goal of $1,500, Ronnie. Yep. And as we've mentioned in previous episodes, and I'll get back to some names in a minute here, once we reach our goal, that's it. We're not we're not looking to make Shutting money off of this. Yeah. Um, in fact, the money that we raised literally was going back into the business, right? which is our YouTube show, Men Are So Smart. So uh, thanks to Miller Mixture for your donation. That was very kind of you. Landon Adamson, thank you. Uh, Steve Klein, Steve, you're the best, man. He's a he's a constant uh, commenter. He is. Salome yeah. Gonzalez, Ronnie, sent nice. us money. Very nice. Thomas Marinock sent us some money. He was the guy that sent us $10 uh, for the tr trip and $1 for me to get a comb for my hair. It paid thank off. You. Yeah. Look at that now. Look at that. It looks... Yep. Okay. I got my hair cut this last week, and in two days, I was up and walking around. Dang. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, Nina Goodman. Thank you, Nina. And Hercules Perrine. Hercules. And Richard Crone. Or Crone. I'm Crone. sorry, Richard. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So these are all people that have dug down deep. They'd like to see us reach our goal as we would. Um, that's how we do stuff. We try to do stuff the right way. And this is the way we're going to go about it and we need your help. So, uh, once again, our PayPal account is paypal.me slash men are so smart. Yep. 
and uh, hopefully we'll read your name on the show next Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and we'd like to tell you that we're closer to our goal, thanks to you. Okay, Ronnie, uh, a good Sunday morning Mass today. I feel like I've confessed all my sins. I've I still got quite a few to go. You got a few to go. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll stick around and we'll, we'll take those after we... Because <laughs> this could be a whole other hour. We could be here until four. Uh, so uh, we're watching this show as you are from our individual homes yep. and uh, taking your comments and replying as quickly as we can. We know it's not a live show per se. Pretty close. But as close as we can get for right now. And I do want to mention that we are going to be coming to you live very soon yeah. on Sunday morning Mass. I don't want to lock us into a date because we've got some testing to do first. Well, we tried that last time. We, right. We said we were going to go live. Yeah. And they're like, what the hell were we talking about? We weren't even close. <laughs> we don't have anything. <laughs> All of a sudden, the equipment is just going to be hooked up and right. there we go, right? No, it's a little more than that. And, you know, you think of us as two 60-year-old grumpy men. Well, you're not far off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> in some ways, we are in that we are not real technologically savvy. savvy. Yeah. Uh, and so it's not our strong suit. It's not. Uh, you know, for, for, for 35 years as a radio personality, the engineers would put all of the equipment together. I had no idea how any of that was supposed to work. I just counted on it to Is work. Is this thing on? Exactly. Is this just, thing on? I can't do my job unless that stuff is working. <laughs> if it's working, you're doing your job. Right. That's where we're at. we got to make sure that it's working. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's see. Um, anything else we got to get out of the way? Oh, Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Huh? Do you have your list for this email question? Yes. Uh, maybe we yeah, can yeah, slide yeah. this in very quickly. Yeah. Uh, here it is. Here's the question. I have it right here. I know you two are in a band together and each love music. What I'd like to know, this is from Derek. Where, what were the last songs you listened to on your musical platform of choice? Well, I'll go ahead and give you mine, Ronnie, while okay. you're doing yours there. All right. Um, on my musical platform of choice, I usually listen to YouTube. Ding, ding. Uh, and that's where I play videos from. And we do a thing called uh, Music Night. We call it the Dance Party. We do it every night at about 6 o'clock with cocktails. And I just play a host of really great songs. Uh, here's my top, the last five, I should say. Uh, roller Coaster, Eric Church. This is all country, I assure you. It's not the one that goes, Roller Coaster. No, not that one. Oh, okay. Uh, Fast As You, Dwight Yoakam. I know that. You we, know Our that band one. plays that song. Shoot Me Straight, the Brothers Osborne. Those guys are so hot. They are on fire. Uh, Drink You Away, Justin Timberlake. Yeah. JT. Yeah, Luke Gallagher listens to Justin Timberlake Ooh. when he does country. And finally, um, this is a brand new song I'm really enjoying. This guy is from um, Dixon, California, which is about oh. Oh, 35 minutes from here or yeah. so. Yeah. And uh, his new song, John Party, is called Ain't Always the Cowboy. It's one of those songs that the words are really great. You're nice. up, Ron. Okay, mine. So yesterday, day before yesterday, I took a buddy of mine to a retiree luncheon that we went to. Okay. And on the way back, he was talking, because he knows I'm a guitar player, he's a bass player. So he wanted to know... So you talked slower. I talked slower for him and right. used smaller words. Good, good. And he wanted to know my favorite guitar solos. So two of these songs are my favorite guitar solos. All right. Uh, number one, and this is my favorite guitar solo ever, mm -hmm. Bodhisattva from uh, Steely, Steely Dan. Dan. I knew it, yep. It's kind of a deep cut for yeah, Steely Dan. Yeah, uh, But the guitar solo is a little bit jazzy, mm -hmm. a little bit rocky. And so, a little raw, too. A little, yes. So listen to it and see if you agree with me. Uh, the next one is probably my, I don't know if it's my second favorite, but it's also a really great guitar solo. It's Spooky by the Atlanta Rhythm Section. Oh, yeah, that's a great song. Yeah. I'm going to play that tonight. Uh, and then... Because I was looking this up for Lou, I played me some Redneck Friend by Jackson Brown. Oh, yeah, our band's going to work on that <sighs> in the next two weeks. I do love that song. Uh, then these next two might be two of my favorite songs. In fact, this one, Can't You Hear Me Knocking by the Rolling Stones. Uh -huh. have, have that as a ringtone. <laughs> that's a ringtone for one of my buddies. And then Ramble On by Led Zeppelin. Oh, yeah, that's great music there. So oh, you can anytime. kind of see my my favorite genre. Yeah, you know, I here's the thing. Uh, I know all of these classic rock songs. And it's not that I don't ever listen to classic rock. 
and we have a very good station here in Sacramento called 96.9 The Eagle. Yep. But see, there's never any new songs. No. That's just it. You can't have a new classic rock song. No. Uh, as years go by, the they demographics change. Deeper. Exactly. Yeah. You know? And what, what what you thought was not necessarily classic rock, all of a sudden one day you wake up and it is. Right. But see, with me, with country, um, I love hearing the new songs before anybody else hears them. And I can tell a hint, I mean, a hit, I can smell it from four and a half miles away. I know when a song is a hit. And so I love the country format, especially the fresh or new country, because there's always new songs. I don't want to hear Taking Care of Business for the 1,379,427th time. Because we played it at least 1 million times. Not that I'm counting. Right, at least 1 million times. Right. So. Okay, so there you go. Thank you. Uh, appreciate the email. Our email addresses have been going across the screen as the show has been going on. Uh, we appreciate you being here for Sunday morning mass. We uh, will be with you for probably about another, oh, Come two on. and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah, so even after the video is over, you can communicate with us. Uh, we'll be sitting around and chatting, okay? Yep. Uh, that'll do it. That's another episode of Rap On Men Are So Smart. I am Lou Gallagher. Corbett Ronnie. See you next time.